to Vone here today bring you a review for Samurai Showdown for the Sega Genesis. So this is my copy of Samurai Showdown for Sega Genesis. This is the this is the case for it. So as you can see here, this is this has the uh, original Genesis ratings. So it's ready. Ready by the VRC, I think. So this was before the ES ESRB. So it actually has its own ratings. And on the back here, you can see all the cool special artworks and screenshots uh, for the games. It has one in two players developed by Takara. So it's a really awesome case here. It's showdown time. <laughs> That's really nice. Inside, ah, as you can see, we have a very old printed manual and the game cartridge. So this is a really nice looking game cartridge here. Almost as nice as the Super Nintendo game cartridge. The only thing is up here, the label is kind of, yeah, it's kind of a little bit wear off. But it's still good. It's still a nice, nicely designed cartridge label here. Let's take a look at the manual first before we go to the cartridge. So, yep. So inside, here you can see all the tables of contents, some informations and uh, instructions about the games, about the basic moves, about some of the characters. Uh, right here, they actually show you how to perform some of the special attacks that for the characters. So here we got Hamaru, Nakoruru, Ukio, Jubei, <laughs> Galfer, Kiyoshiro, Wanfu, Charlotte, Tam Tam, Genen, Hanzo, and Hamatsa. So yeah, all of those are pretty much in here. And if you don't understand those, you can always look, look back here. Here's the full list of every moves that these characters can perform. So it has all their full names, full move list. And back here is where you write all your notes and secrets and all these, all the nice stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that's a really nice manual here. And here's the game cards for the Sega Genesis. So as you can see, it's almost identical to the Neo Geo and Super Nintendo cartridge. So basically it shows a nice artworks of Hamaru here. Uh, yeah, with all the with Takara lo logos and all the um, all the informations. So yeah, this is a really nice cartridge. It's black, it's sleek, <laughs> it's small, nicely designed. You can basically play this on the Nomad or on your Sega Genesis, so that's great. So in a while, we'll, we'll test this game and see how it fares to the Super Nintendo ports. So, yep, so let's get right on to it. So, this is Samurai Showdown developed by Takara the same um, people who uh, developed this game for the Super Nintendo as well and here's the intro for Samurai Showdown and let's get started here we got the arcade mode which is game starts we got versus mode and an option menu so everything here is pretty much already already there for us so it's it's good as you can see here at the character select screen you can tell it's missing one character so uh, I already told this in in the Nomad review so here we got Gan, Galfour, Hamaru, Ukio, Charlotte, Tamtam, -tam, Nakoru, Wanfu, Jubei, Hanzo, and Kiyoshiro so if you play this on the versus mode Amatsa will appear to the right of Kiyoshiro, so you can actually select select him for play on that ver on that mode. But on the Super Nintendo version, 
earthquake is supposed to be up to the left of Makururu. So, yeah. So let's get let's um, see how the game plays and how it fares to the Super Nintendo ports. And that's a nice little uh, arcade style intro here. So you can see they actually quote their battles before they fight. <laughs> There it is. We're fighting Ukyo first. As you can see, the perspective of this game actually has the camera zoomed in much closer this time. Let's try to zoom out a little bit here. Yeah. So the camera is much more zoomed in this time. You can see your character sprite much bigger and more detail. But because of that, you get to see less of the backgrounds. <laughs> it's still colorful just like the arcade and Super Nintendo version, but there's actually less um, there's actually less less uh, attractions on the background this time. But the gameplay using the six button controller here actually plays out very good. As you can see there, Hamaru. <laughs> and this is a fairly fun ports to play. All the moves are very are very um, simple to pull off. I love the Sega D-pad here. It works really well in performing all the attacks that I need to perform. The character AI are also fairly challenging too. Oh my god, Ukyo is slicing me in half now. And this version, this version actually has more of the violence than the Super Nintendo version. You can actually see some blood splatter, character cutting in half, or some of those uh, blood fountain finishers that you saw in the arcade. The only thing it doesn't have is that outro that the Super Nintendo and arcade version has where on the vic upon victory you can actually see a close-up of that character. This it, That is not here in this version. So, but it does have the arcade, the arcade quote intro here. So, yeah, this is this is what I love about this version is that you actually hear them call each other and then jump right into the battle. Whereas on the Super Nintendo version, they don't do that. They just the battle just load by itself. <laughs> yeah, the Genesis and Super Nintendo version each have their own thing. That's why that's what I love about them. Now imagine if you combine both of them, it'll be really great. <laughs> but you just had to uh, just had to get what you get what you can get here <laughs> yep love that slash right there like before it still have the pow meters on the very bottom there so you can save that for for uh, very powerful strikes there and this version also have the weapon buster as well that courier man on the background is still around too. We see more of him this time than we saw him on the Super Nintendo version. Look at that, there he is, throwing us some coins. <laughs> Aww. So we're fighting Charlotte now. So I actually be Charlotte. And Hamuro actually has like two different victory poses here. He doesn't throw his sword in this match because I end the match with a kick. <laughs> Alright, so we reached Nakururu. Now let's just get started on the match. Like before, look at this, the, the stage is much zoom in now, so we don't see all of the animals in the background. But we do get to see more details on Akuru here. And the music of this stage sounds fairly good too. Yeah, 
got so many stuff on the background, huh? The courier man, uh, we got Kuroko, we can see a few sprites of the NPC there too. All the animal sprites as well. And the sprites of Mamahaha, the Nakaru's bird there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and she actually defeat me here. Let's see how I can fare on round two. I'll see if I could get a fatality on her. At least my tornado hits her. <laughs> Let's see, one more slash and then she's dead. There he goes. Ah, but she did not get slashed in half. <laughs> Alright, one more match and then we can, uh, I'll give you my final opinions of this game. Oh, there it is. Yep, that's the Weapon Buster right there. <laughs> it seems that both of us managed to pull it off, so nobody lost their weapon there. So let's see if I could beat her on this final round. And see if I could perform a fatality on her. Oh man, she is actually kicking my ass now. Look at that. She is killing me now. Oh man. I'll see if I can beat her with uh, another character. Alright, let's see. Who can I choose? We defeated Ukiyo and Charlotte, so I'll choose Tam Tam. Alright. Like the Super Nintendo and arcade version, this version also has those uh, story cutscene of Hamatsa as well. So, yeah, not everything is cut from this version. So, if it's on the arcade Super Nintendo, it's still here. All the endings for the characters are here too. The only thing is, you won't get to see much of Earthquake. <laughs> oh. Come on, come on, that crew. Oh man, I don't get why she's so hard in this game. <laughs> Either that, or maybe I'm not that good. <laughs> So you can see that that courier guy just throw me a food item so that actually preserved my life a little bit there. Ah oh, there he is. So we managed to beat her one round again. He is really happy. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of the things that don't happen on Super Nintendo version actually does happen on this version. 
Got the weapon buster, the courier man, and the violence, all of them, I think. So it's a fairly fun game, too. There it is. I actually beat her on the buster. So she dropped her weapon right there. You can see she she is fighting me bare hands right now. The longer she doesn't have her weapon, the more advantage I have. And she's, she also got a POW on the meter too. And there it is, I do my uh, sword swinging attack there. However, she can still do her triangle, her triangle strike there. I'm not really sure what those coin do, but oh my gosh, she defeated me on this round. And we got one more rounds to go. Can't believe how challenging she is in this game. She was much more easier on the SNES version. See if I could beat her on this round. Look at that. Man, she knows how to strike back here. Oh my gosh. She is gonna kill me. She is literally killing me now. Alright, so that's it. That's Samurai Showdown for the Sega Genesis. Everything that didn't happen on the Super Nintendo version happens on this version. It's very fun to play if you have some friends and play multiplayer on it. But the only thing is it's lacking Earthquake and there are a few minor things missing but yeah, it's not that different from the Super Nintendo and arcade versions. So yeah, I'm so let's see, I, I'll give you my final opinions on here now. Okay, so there it is. That's Samurai Showdown for the Sega Genesis here. Uh, it's a fairly fun arcade style fighting games. It has 11 characters, one missing earthquakes from the Super Nintendo and arcade version. But it does play really, really well. Uh, you might need a... Uh, six button gamepad to play it to get the full experience otherwise like the street fighters you're, you're gonna have to start using start and switch between these buttons here if you if you have a three buttons but yeah six buttons is recommended for this fighting game here and it's a solid fighter too so if you are a fighting game fans and you have uh, still have a Sega Genesis around, this is a really good fighters. You have 11 selectable characters, all play fairly well and have their own unique fight styles. You have the boss already unlocked for you, who you could play in versus mode. You have some extra showdown mode in there somewhere too, where you can actually pick like four different teams and face off against the other player and their teams that's a really fun mode too I didn't show that on the gameplay but it's there if you want to and yeah that's pretty much it compared to the Super Nintendo version this one plays fairly well too and um, all the things that happens rarely on the Super Nintendo version happens a lot in this version so it, you, did, you, you didn't see any fatalities in here, but I did play it quite sometimes and it does happen a lot. Character getting slashed in half and uh, a lot of those uh, characters had their blood guts flying around, blood splatter everywhere. <laughs> the backgrounds are not as wide as the other two versions, but they are there, still have all their details and all their all their um, cool, uh, the cool backgrounds and foregrounds that you can awe your eyes at. But yeah, it's it's a fairly fun fighting game. You has if you 
have some friends who wants to uh, battle you for a good match of a samurai then feel free to get this game uh, this is my uh, case for the games this is the actual cartridge for it so as you can tell it's, yeah still have the manual in there so yeah I, I was very lucky to get the case the manual and uh, the cartridge all at once so it's a fairly good game you can tell the case is still durable has that nice ratings it's one of the few games that is not rated by the ESRB which is great because pretty much the ESRB were probably gonna censor this game anyways <laughs> so yeah very good game if you can find this I really recommend it and also if you have this around yeah it works really well too so yeah so this so this is Vol. thank you for watching this uh, short reviews of Samurai Showdown for the Sega Genesis here um, feel stay tuned for my other reviews for other games hardwares and products that I plan to review in the futures follow me on Twitter's feel free to like comment subscribe tell me what you think of all the stuff that are shown here on my watch my other previous video too um, feel free to do a video response if you have to and yeah that's pretty much it so Samurai Showdown Genesis great game